So first thing on the weekly wrap up is about the Phil Spencer interview. And this is an Xbox ad. Did you guys see that ad? No. It's some new promotion thing they're doing. It's up on the website where it just shows different ways to play Xbox games. And it's just everything says this is an Xbox. So it starts off with the Series X and then it'll show like Does a laptop. Does it show the fridge? I don't. That's a great I question. I haven't. Does it show the fridge? I, will, I have to know. I will say I didn't. I may have seen parts of this. I didn't know if people were memeing. I've just seen a bunch of pictures that say this is... I, people are putting this is an Xbox on stuff that is anything generally shaped like a, an Xbox yeah. console. Uh, so I, I don't know what's real and what's not. <laughs> okay, so no, there's no fridge, unfortunately. Okay. No, so they have... This isn't... They have the Xbox Series X. Uh, then they have a laptop saying this is an Xbox for your lap. Then they have uh, one of the handheld gaming PCs. It's kind of small, so I can't. T- I think it's probably the Asus. And it says this is an Xbox. It tags long. And then they have a cat in a litter box, and it says this is a cat box. And it's like this is an Xbox that goes on the wall, and it's a flat screen TV. And then it's like this is an Xbox that makes calls, and it's your phone. And it's like this is a bento box, and it's got a bento box. Then it's this is an Xbox on the inside, and it's a Wait, fire fire stick. Fire can stick. you do Game Pass on your phone? Yeah, I've got it on my phone. I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then it's got, this is an Xbox that you wear with the Oculus. And it's like, this is still an Xbox and it's the Series S. And that's the big promotion thing. Um, which all this is really telling is kind of giving a little indication of that future of the Xbox where they want to be able to play everywhere, as we've already known. Which Phil Spencer did have an interview about this. And he did confirm there is a handheld in development to no surprise. But it is a few years out, which also tells you it's just going to launch with the next generation. It's not going to come out this generation. So an official Xbox handheld in the works, probably going to launch with the next gen, which makes sense with me. I think next gen you launch, you launch your your main console and you launch like you know the the handheld hybrid, you know with the handheld alternate. I think that's all you do. You don't do this Series X, Series S thing, you know, because I feel like it's just as we all know, put them in in a, in a corner, right? It's kind of screwed them. Which you know, the same thing could be said about the handheld potentially. Oh, but yeah. I'm sure they'll yeah, figure it's, it out. It's got to be the same. It's got to be the same thing where it's got to be powerful enough to run all the games because yeah. they're going to require that it be able to be played on it Yeah. to developers. Right. So I don't know how they're going to figure it out. We'll, we'll see when the time comes. I don't know. Um, I know they also t- kind of talked about like the mid-gen refresh, and he kind of talked about that you know, they just didn't feel like they needed it, which, one, he's correct, and two, I think that's also just covering up for the fact that we would have had to do it twice, not once, yeah. because of the Series S. Uh, which we've talked about here on the show. But, you know, while he is true, they didn't necessarily need it with the exception of the Series S. I think it's also just him covering his own ass for the fact they would have had to do it twice. They can't just do one. If if I I mean, it's smart to not do it at all. But if yeah. you were going to do it, there's no need to do it for the Series X. Yeah. You would have just had to have released a newer version of Series, of the Series S. S. Yeah. Which, you know, in their mind, they did because they did the Xbox X, you know, Xbox Series X all digital. So... There you go. So, I mean, I give, I, and I, you know, and again, you know, the way he framed the whole thing is that he just didn't feel like it was needed, which we can agree if we're talking just the most powerful console, it's not needed. We look, let's look at the PS5 Pro, you know, because he even, he talked about previous generations and stuff where it's like, you know, there were substantial growths, you know, like where Xbox One, to Xbox One X, there was substantial growth of the 4K. And so if you're going from 1080p to 4K, there's, there's growth there. There's just not, we can't get substantial growth here. So I guess a little kudos to that, even though it's clearly a cover up. Uh, but he also talked about there is no red lines in the Xbox portfolio in which games can come into PlayStation. Uh, so, like, I, we've talked about it before. So, again, like something like Halo could be on the PlayStation one day. Uh, still looking at more acquisitions, though, very large deals are probably off the table, as they should be. Jesus Christ. Uh, he claims that the business is healthier, uh, which we'll see about that. We'll see if there's any more damn layoffs, and there's more room for smaller hit tiles like Grounded, which is made by 12 people. You had Hi-Fi Rush and Tango. I don't know what... It, it, all right, buddy. Whatever. Uh, did I also talk... That, I didn't realize Grounded was made by 12 people. That is fucking impressive. See, I didn't know that either. That's why I wanted to include that one particular tidbit that's, on the script. Imp- I thought that was crazy. That's impressive because I don't. You guys haven't played it, have you? I have not, but I, I have. I have seen videos. I've I played it quite a bit, and yeah, the fact that it's made by such a small team, incredible. Yeah, kudos, hats I off. I understand why it took. It was in early access for like two and a half years. Oh yeah, yeah. for a long time. That makes 
even more than they did before. But that, even that being said, the amount of stuff that they did and put out in that time is incredible. Yeah. Uh, he also talked about how Indiana Jones on a subscription service was apparently a headache like racing games in terms of license and stuff. Uh, since it's Disney involved, I don't doubt that. So I wonder if that means it's going to be one of those things where Indiana Jones could get removed from Game Pass one Probably. day. That'd be my guess. You know, even though it's an Xbox title, could get removed. So I don't know. I mean, uh, really the biggest thing to take away from this is there is an Xbox handheld officially in development, which... Kind of already knew that based on the gigantic Xbox leak that happened, that it was apparently in the works already. But uh, it's cool to see that it's officially yeah. confirmed by the man I'm himself. Yeah. Looking forward to, to, to being able to have an Xbox handheld. Yeah, for the first time ever. So I'm glad they're getting their foot in the market for that. And you're I'm glad handhelds are coming back. Yeah, I, and it, I was going to say, I hope that means that PlayStation will actually get there because apparently the portal has exceeded their sales expectations, which was, I well, imagine, probably pretty low. <laughs> they probably had pretty low expectations. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully that means that because I've always believed with the portal that the portal was them dipping their toes in the water to see if it's like, all right, should we do a native one? Let's do this first and let's see if a native one will work. So like I hope that means like, you know, a PSP will come back in some capacity. You know, if they want to call it PSP or call it something else, I don't know. Uh, and then Xbox doing their first uh, handheld ever. I mean, I'm down for it because we already know the Switch 2 is going to be handheld. So like what John said, I'm glad handheld gaming's coming back. That's awesome. Love that. 